Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about basic definitions. So first one is mutual exclusion. So what is mutual exclusion? If he wants to define mutual exclusion, then it is a way of making sure that if one process is using a shared resource or shared file at the same time, the other process will be excluded or we can say stop from being the same thing or we can say it is a way of giving surety that at a particular time only one process is using shared resource or shared files let's take example you might have visit cyber cafe so this is a picture of cyber cafe this cyber cafe is having various cabins and each cabin is having only one computer so each cabin is only allocated to only one user or one person to access that computer or for the surfing so suppose this cabin this first cabin is allocated to this person so once this person will start to use this computer of this first cabin because this cabin is having only one computer so only one user is allowed to enter in this cabin to access this computer for surfing so once this user will start to use this computer this user will prevent other user to enter into this cabin by placing here board of no entry so by placing here no entry board other person will be prevented to enter into that cabin in the same way whenever more than one processes are using the shared resource at that time if the first process will start to use that resource at that time it will make some system that will prevent other process to use that same resource until and unless the first process will finish its execution that way of making sure that other process is not using the shared resource is known as mutual exclusion next move further critical section what is critical section it is a part of program or a process where the shared resource is accessed is known as critical section let's take example suppose we are having two process process a and process b now at particular time t1 suppose this process p1 starts to use printer this printer is a shared resource between these two process a and process b so at a particular time t1 this process a has started to use this printer so here process a enters in critical section now up to here suppose process p1 is using this printer means here at this point this process a will release this printer so here up to here this process a is in critical section now suppose at time t2 another process b try to use this printer means attempt to enter in critical region but this process b is not allowed to enter in critical region means this process b is not allowed to use this printer why because process a is already in critical region means process a is already using this printer that's why process b is blocked until this process a is exit from this critical region so this process b is blocked up to here now at particular time t3 again this process a work is finished so process a will release this printer here so here this process a will lose the critical region means exit from critical region so up to this portion process a is using the set resource that is printer that's why process a is in critical region up to this portion from t1 to t3 again now process b is waiting for the printer so once this printer become free this printer is allocated to process b and b enters in critical region up to here suppose up to t4 this process b is using printer and at t4 this process b release this reprinter that's why b leaves critical region so critical region or critical section is nothing but 
a part of program where the shared resource is accessed or used. So this is shared resource that is printer that is used by two process A and B. The portion where this process are using this printer is nothing but a critical section or we can say critical region. Thank you very much.